Okay. So, uh, what we're going to want to do for this one is I have log base 13 of x squared minus 4 equals log base 13 of 3x. So, ladies and gentlemen, remember when we take off our hats that we can apply the property of equality with logarithms. And the property of equality of logarithm says as long as we have a log to the same base, then Isabellina, we can evaluate, um, as long as we have it to the same base and they're isolated, we can now undo them because they're not going to affect our problem. If we know that we're evaluating logarithms to the same base, what we're evaluating them for has to be equal. So therefore, we're not really concerned about log base 13. We just know that x squared minus 4 now has to equal 3x. Now the issue we have here is now we have a quadratic term. So we have to solve this. So solving quadratics, we need to make sure we set equal to 0. So therefore, I have x squared minus 3x minus 4 equals 0. How can you just put that in the middle? All right. OK? Sorry. <laughs> just rewriting it, right? Wait. Watch. 5 minus 4, is that the same thing as, um, here, negative 5 minus 4, is that the same thing as negative 4 minus 5? It's the same thing. So you're just rewriting it. OK? Good point. So. If you just square, let's say you, uh, so square root the x, right, from here? Yeah. Oh, but yeah, you have to. You have to make sure you square root the 4, and then you're crazy. And then plus, you don't have, then your answer has an x in it. Yeah, yeah, well, you yeah. can't solve yeah, an answer I when you have an x in it. When your, your property, which is called the square root property, that would work if it just looked like this. Then you just add the 4. And then you can take the square root. That only works when there's a one squared term, but it's only one of them. Now that we have two, we have a squared term and a linear term, we have to either complete the square, factor, or quadratic formula. So let's start off, start off by factoring. What, is, um, what two numbers multiply to give you negative 7, add to give you negative 3? We can factor this to x minus 4 times x plus 1 equals 0. And the reason why we like using factoring is because now I can apply the zero product property, which states x minus 4 has to equal 0 and x plus 1 has to equal 0. So therefore, x equals 4 and x equals negative 1. OK, questions? Anything else? Isabelina Barrientos? Yeah. You're going to have to start paying attention and take out your homework. <laughs> <laughs>